I wanted to get your thoughts on the article that was in the athletic. To be honest with you, it kind of caught me off guard. You know, this is your bailiwick. You you are dealing with the in you know the intricacies of college sports, college football. Uh, this discussion by some about possibly doing away with the conferences is forming a, a basically a, a super league and go from there. First off, are you familiar at all with this concept? Secondly, what are your thoughts about the concept? Well, yes, I am familiar with the concept of trying to create a type of a super league for college football. And I know that some equity funds and have been interested in making investments in college athletic programs and acquiring media rights and managing athletic departments and programs similar to what you see in some of the professional sports. And so, yeah, I'm aware of it. And we have had discussions about this among the presidents and chancellors uh, of the Southeastern Conference. Uh, Chancellor Glenn Boyce at the University of Mississippi, who's uh, with me, we represent our two universities in the SEC. And yeah, we've had conversations with our colleagues in the SEC, more of an informational type description on what ideas are out there. But as for now, I can tell you that the, our conference, the Southeastern Conference and some of the other power conferences, the Big Ten in particular, I don't see us moving in that direction anytime soon. Uh, our focus has been more on a, the collegiate model and looking at student athletes as being students and recognizing that that's our number one priority is for them to obtain a, an education and earn a degree. Um, but also recognizing that we're entering into new media contracts. In fact, the Southeastern Conference um, and uh, signed a memorandum of understanding with our media partner ESPN to extend our longstanding partnership with ESPN, but also the members of the college football playoff, the 10 conferences that are part of CFP and Notre Dame uh, just recently, within the last couple of weeks, signed uh, a contract with ESPN for ESPN to continue to have exclusive broadcast rights for our college football playoffs. And as you know, starting this year for this upcoming season, we'll have a 12-team playoff for the first time. And ESPN and ABC have those rights to broadcast these games for this season and next season. And then we added another six year extension beyond that starting in 2026. So we've made a commitment to our media partner. And we had a lot of discussions about how we could, uh, what we think college athletics will look like in the years to come before we make a long-term commitment. And we all agree that we want it to look more like it is, as I mentioned, uh, just earlier, that we want to have a collegiate type model, recognizing that we want to do more for providing uh, revenue sharing with our athletes. We're going to have more revenues coming into our athletic departments as a result of these new media deals that we've entered into. And we absolutely want to share those additional revenues in a, in a meaningful way with our student athletes. Um, we like to see how we can do some improvements to the name, image, and likeness process. We recognize that NIL will be with us for the foreseeable future. And we want our student athletes to take advantage of their name, image, and likeness to be able to uh, generate more revenue for themselves. By the way, yeah. with, with all the, with the lit especially the litigation that's out there, do you see a day where there is no longer an NCAA that is the governing, that governs not just college football, but college athletics? Well, I think that um, there are conversations about where we focus on our future from a governance standpoint. I think that we're having, I know that we're having conversations with the leadership of the NCAA about how the, the, the power conferences can have more autonomy. We have the autonomy, the autonomous five, which is now autonomous four, because they we've, we've lost a, a power conference, autonomous conference, but we don't have true autonomy in the governance of these institutions within the NCAA. We like the NCAA umbrella for managing our, our tournaments, 
uh, Omaha, Nebraska, going to the national championship, uh, uh, March Madness and the Final Four. That's all NCAA, and we like that process. But from a governance standpoint, the universities, the power universities, the, the challenges, the budgets, the issues that we deal with are so different than Division II and Division Three institutions, and some they don't even offer scholarships. And yet, because of the governance structure of the NCAA, we're under that governance model. We have to have more true autonomy in how we govern and make decisions for our institutions. And if we can do that within the NCAA uh, umbrella, that's outstanding. And that's what we're trying to achieve. If not, then there may be some possibility that we may have to think about a new governance structure for college athletics, at least for the power and the power schools, uh, the power conferences as we know them. But it sounds like that as long as the SEC, Big Ten, as long as these uh, media deals are in place, it doesn't sound like, at least from what I'm hearing from you, it doesn't seem like something, a, a seismic change would be coming anytime soon. We're not seeing that. I, I, they're interesting ideas and concepts. Uh, we've had discussions about them. But at this time, at this moment, what we know and understand, that's not a direction that we feel comfortable. We as a conference and talking to our fellow conferences, uh, we don't see that happening anytime soon. I know you got to go. I'll give you the last word. If there's anything else you'd like to add. Well, again, uh, there are a lot of changes in there. And, and we, we want to work for a constructive change a model that supports our student athletes, helps us be as competitive as we can be. Uh, my goodness, the Southeastern Conference with Te University of Texas and Oklahoma coming into our conference on July the 1st is going to get even more competitive. Uh, and I do think that Mississippi State and University of Mississippi and our state are poised to be even more competitive and to continue to win national championships. And and, and that's what we're all str striving to achieve for our fans, for our universities, but also for our student athletes to afford them opportunities to achieve it, to compete at the highest level um, and have great success and earn their education at, one, at our institutions, earn a degree. And that's what we're trying to achieve. Dr. Keenum, thanks so much for your time. Good to talk to you. Well, good to see you. And I'm so glad you're doing well. Getting better every day. And well, I, hope it, I hope it keeps on truck. We keep on trucking. So. Amen. Well, God Look, bless you. Greg. God bless you. We'll see you. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye. Okay. Bye.